Hi there, and welcome to my Itty Bitty Chapel. My name is Patty Chafee, and I'm the community minister at Niantic Community Church. I'm also a spiritual director and an expressive arts facilitator. The Itty Bitty Chapel is a few moments offered midweek to relax, refresh, and reflect on a spiritual word or phrase. It's usually filmed in or near a sacred space within my home called the Itty Bitty Chapel. And our candle is lit to remind us of the presence of spirit within and around us always. Our word for reflection this week is authenticity. Hard times arouse an instinctive desire for authenticity. Coco Chanel. I was in my late 30s, and after just getting divorced, I was feeling pretty good. I received a scholarship for a five-day writing retreat and made my way to Omega in Rhinebeck, New York. Omega is a place filled with Birkenstocks and backpacks, healthy food, and insightful, innovative thinkers, offering workshops and retreats led by notable people from all over the world. It is a place to do creative soul work, among other things, and it was the first time I'd ever done anything like it. It would be my big adventure. My scholarship was awarded with a campsite in which to set up my pup tent. That first night it began to rain and it rained buckets. And I feared it would never stop considering the possibility of my tent and all my belongings floating adrift in a nearby pond. But I didn't mind. I was at my first writer's workshop with one of my favorite authors. Hers was the first book I'd read about writing. I'd read and found it inspiring. Why else would one drive to upstate New York to pitch a tent in the middle of summer to write? However, by about day three, when myself and everything I owned was saturated, I attempted to relocate to my car to sleep. But when I notified guest services where I would be, just in case of an emergency, they were so kind. They put me up in a cabin with a roof and walls and a bed. Who knew? <laughs> I was thrilled. I was there to spend time learning more about writing from this author who had caught my attention, and I was anxious to be a part of this program, no matter what. The author had made an entire career out of writing one book. She continues today presenting workshops and retreats and inspiring budding writers. But more than that, she taught me something else that has stuck with me all these years. She taught me something I'm still learning myself in some ways. That day at the workshop, with a room filled with about 25 people, I think, this woman who I'd come so far to see and hear her message about being a writer, walked into our space in a surprising way in Be the Light That You Are, which is not the book I'm talking about or the author, Deborah Landwehr Engel writes about self-love. Self-love means talking to source over and over again to remember to use your gifts and graces. As you do, you recognize yourself. You honor your unique expression of love and light on this planet, no matter what else, what anyone else thinks. You stand in grandeur of who you are, knowing you don't need to apologize or ask permission. You're simply being yourself with nothing to prove. She goes on, when you live from self-love, your foundation is solid. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world does, says, or thinks of you. You can trust the light that you are. Now back to my story. You know, <laughs> when we imagine someone we haven't met, there's sometimes an idea we have projected in our minds. I don't know what I was expecting exactly, but what I found 
was an author who was exciting and bold, exuberant and passionate about writing, and down to earth. She walked into that room amidst a group of people she'd never met with wild hair, a great smile, and a torn and tattered sweater. All these years later, I still remember that sweater. It looked very comfortable. She looked very comfortable in her sweater and in her skin. She was and continues to be today a model of authenticity to me. She was just being her gifted, glorious, beautiful, authentic, very real self. I was impressed. We never did get to know each other over the years, but I follow her workshops and newsletter and recently saw that she decided to cancel a retreat she had scheduled due to COVID. And she ended her short cancellation letter of apology with, I am what I am. It was so perfect. Indeed she is. <laughs> and I knew that from the moment I set eyes on her worn and tattered sweater, I knew I was in the presence of something special. She is who she is. I recently noticed that one character trait I admire most in people is their ability to be authentic, genuine, real. I think God calls us to that. Our God created us, right? Why would he want us to be anyone else? Oscar Wilde said, be yourself, everyone else is taken. That sounds about right to me. And we can hardly talk about authenticity without help from Brene Brown. She writes, if you think dealing with issues like worthiness and authenticity and vulnerability are not worthwhile because there are more pressing issues, you are sadly, sadly mistaken. Authenticity is not something we have or don't have. It's a practice, a conscious choice of how we want to live. Staying real is one of the most courageous battles we'll ever fight. The challenge is to get out of our own way to let go of cultural norms and the expectations of others. Sometimes that means stepping into our light and then back to safety. Light is not always comfortable. It's just light. In and out we go. And we can trust that if we are shining our own light as God intended, we will not be able to keep it from lighting up the world and all those within it who can appreciate a tattered sweater and a little bit of shine. So get comfy, grab something warm and cozy, and reflect on some way you might step into your own light, your own authenticity, in a little deeper way than yesterday. I leave you now with a few minutes reflection on this, and thank you for being such a light in my life. Thank you for sharing this video with your friends or family. I keep you in my prayers every day. And until next time, may God bless you in every way you need. And may you celebrate your own splendid authenticity. Namaste. God bless.